So now that it's January 3rd, I'm looking at filing my sales taxes and some of us have to do it quarterly, um, some yearly, and I'm on eBay managed payments. So it's different where I'm gonna get the information than when I was on PayPal. So I just wanted to share where to get that report that you need to file your sales taxes, but it's two topics because one thing is when you're on eBay managed payments, um, where do you get your total sales for that either quarter or year or depending on how often you file sales tax. And the other topic is that eBay is collecting sales tax for many and most of the states. So you'll have to check um, to see, to make sure that eBay is doing it for your state as well. But um, as far as that is concerned, um, do you still have to file sales taxes? And I'm not an accountant and can't give tax advice, but my understanding is, yes, you do still have to file sales tax, even if it's to show that eBay has been collecting and remitting sales tax for you. So first I'm gonna share my screen and um, show you where to find the report. Okay, there we go. Um, once you're in eBay managed payments, which a lot of us are now. So you go to your My eBay and I'm, this is if you are subscribed to Seller Hub, which again is free. And um, then you just go to your payments tab and click on reports. And then here you just put in the date range that you need. And a few minutes ago, I put in September 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. So I could get that quarterly report. And then also, so I have it for my taxes. I did January 1st to December 31st. So I did one for my sales tax and the other for my taxes. But then actually, um, I realized because I went on, I'm in Colorado and I went to colorado.gov revenue online. And I see that I'm remitting once a year now for sales tax, since the amount I'm remitting is less than $15 because all of my sales are online and they're all on eBay. So um, the amount that I'm remitting is less than $15. So now I'm only doing it once a year. Um, and this, let's see, then you can download it and it downloads into an Excel file, which I already downloaded. And then, oh, let's see here. This is the one for the, Okay, I'm a little bit confused. No, this one is actually September 1st to December 31st. So uh, this is if you're remitting quarterly, which I thought I was at first when I was doing it. So there are two columns that I totaled and one of them was my, <sighs> oh, that's Tinkerbell. If you're gonna hear her growl, you might as well see how cute she is. Yeah, but there's somebody walking by the corner, so she has to address that. Okay, no barking. Let's see how well that works. Tinkerbell. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Um, okay, so one of the columns is net amount and that was the payout amount and that one is over here there okay let me just go to the top where you can see the header okay net amount that's the payout amount well i can see where that's what i would use as far as 
um, my income, you know, for my accountant, but over here, let's go, is gross transaction amount. That includes, and eBay will tell you right at the top of this report, it includes your order, um, your shipping. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The gross transaction amount, that includes everything, including taxes that eBay collected. So which one do you put on your sales tax report? And it almost seems to me because what I have always reported was my gross sales. I guess I've always um, reported the gross sales amount. Um, okay. Anyway, I gotta get back over here. Okay, so I hope this helps more than confuses. Um, one piece of good news is that the way that you used to download your transactions on eBay only went back 90 days. So you had to stay up on downloading them so you didn't get past 90 days. And now through this um, payments tab section here, um, you can go back for the whole year. So yay, that's good news. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And I look forward to uh, seeing your feedback and what you think.